especially during and after the Civil War, um, so much of the formal legal action on civil rights occurs in the legislative branch, not through the courts or through the executive. For a time, African-Americans' lives in the South improved greatly, and a normal, though fragile, period of two-party politics in the South seemed to have begun. What I'm curious about is how Reconstruction-era politics within both parties might have shaped the institutional development of the parties. The Civil War era was truly a, a revolution, but in many ways it was also a counter-revolution. There's also the story of, of amendment politics, which is really central to the Reconstruction. And I, I'd just be curious about how the interaction of social movements affects the uh, formation of coalitions. Sometimes Congress does a really good job of starting to deepen and enhance or democratize, and at other times it turns on its heels and does uh, quite the opposite.